In this morning's Health Watch, holidays and high anxiety. Thanksgiving is a time for fun with family and friends, but those big holiday gatherings can also be quite stressful. Here with some helpful coping tips is clinical psychologist Jeff Gardier, who is a contributor to healthguru.com. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning. Always good to see you. It is my pleasure. Thank so you. So I'm going to use myself as an example yes. of what you say not to do. I am working tomorrow, then cooking the full meal by myself. Am I setting myself up for a meltdown? Not really, because we know that you're every woman oh, and stop, you can do I'm it not. all. But a lot of people are not that way. And so it's important for them to delegate. And these days and times, we're in a recovery right now. I just think it's important that we all make it a team effort. So people should be willing to help. And another tip that goes along with that, when you're sending out your cards for people to come mm -hmm. to your Thanksgiving dinner, let them know exactly what you want. So instead of going pot luck, I say go pot purpose oh, because like it rounds out the whole thing and being able to contribute I know I love to do kitchen detail afterwards it really does help you as far as having that team effort because that's what Thanksgiving is all about I'm not sh sure if my husband was paying attention can you repeat that kitchen detail part oh yes <laughs> clean those dishes afterwards please it's so important because it makes it a healthier and more fun time for Maggie please yes thank you now Let's get to tips that can help everybody else, yes. not just me. A lot of people, most of us, overindulge in the holidays because we kind of feel like if there was ever a day or a time when we can do it, now is the time. You say that's actually not a good idea. It's passe now. We're all so health conscious. It's important to use Thanksgiving as a time to eat healthier. We're always having fast food. So this should be a time where we redraw the lines and say, let's eat good, um, healthy portions, but not in a way that we overeat. Same thing with drinking. Don't overdo it. You don't want to wear the lampshade. You don't want to get sick for Thanksgiving. And it's just the beginning of the holiday, so you really do pace want to yourself. pace yourself. Yeah, exactly. A, a big issue in the holidays is the family tensions and how do you ease that. One I, way you say is manage the table. If you're hosting Thanksgiving dinner, actually arrange a seating chart. Is that what you recommend? Well, I would say, yeah, you can do an informal seating chart where some of the uh, relatives who have issues with one another, uh, you can kind of space them out, put buffers in between them, but as part of uh, managing that table, also try to set the tone of conversation. You don't want it to be too negative around political things and so on, people crying on each other's shoulders about the economy. It's important to keep it positive. That's what Thanksgiving Steer is all about. Steer the conversation in the right direction. That's right. The Positivity. Host. I like that. Yeah. Uh, something that can be tricky over the holidays, the kids sometimes, parents inadvertently put pressure on kids because if they're divorced, the kids might feel, well, who do I go to, mom or dad? How do we alleviate that? I, I think uh, as much as you can in advance, even for today, set a shift. I speak to a lot of people who are divorced, 50% divorce rate. They do a 12 to 4 on Thanksgiving, 4 to 8. You could split them up in that way. So this way the kids are not confused and everyone has a good time. Or do Thanksgiving dinner Wednesday night, Friday afternoon. Last tip, volunteer and count your blessings. That, the most, I think, is what the holidays The most all important about. one, uh, uh, these studies now are saying that if you can volunteer, not only do you help other people, but you thank your own, you look at your own blessings, and it's so important because it makes you appreciate Thanksgiving for yeah. what it is, and you end up with healthier kids. Yes, it feels so good, and you set such a positive example for That's right, kids, because right? they learn not to be selfish, and that's what it's all about. Giving. Thank Thanksgiving. You. Thanksgiving. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, Maggie.